Halifax and Mars. I would take the story a little lightly, to be honest with you. I've seen this type of story before. Renewables and coal, they can be developed from waste in mere hours of development. Uh, I've seen these stories before, like I said, and they're not usually the most reliable of things. Land coal stores similar amounts of energy to coal, but can be burned without releasing pollutants into the air. But that's just point of faults. Of course, it releases pollutants into the air. using process called torrefaction. The biomass from the waste raw materials is dried and heated around 250 degrees Celsius in low oxygen in the atmosphere before being compressed into a brick-like product. Maybe you like light roast coffee, it's not as concentrated, or you can take it further and have dark roast coffee. You can do the same thing here. Um, Bosnak, or the MRRI researchers. The MRRI is also developing an energy mud, stores even more energy than this coal is produced in a giant pressure cooker. Well, we need some time for this coal and energy mud are ready for commercial use. Technologies like these have the potential to reduce emissions from coal transition to the full carbon economy. But right there you go. Uh, right there you have it. This is the mental disorder of liberalism. Which means it's almost certainly not going to be commercially viable. They could also produce an impact mining while also making use of natural waste. The NRRI is how it for investors to help them commercialize the product. I can tell you what's going to happen to this. These big companies are going to look at this and they're going to say this is utter nonsense and it's not going to sell. See, all this uh, so-called green energy stuff has to be paid for by the government in the form of subsidies. And it can't, it's not... Uh, commercially viable and it's not profitable without paying your tax dollars and if it's not profitable by paying your tax dollars then it's just going to make things more expensive for you seriously doubt this is going to work but that's why I call it a mad science update I'm Artifacts of Mars Thanks for watching.